What's up, universe? It's 5.50 a.m. Central Time on October, well, I guess it's Monday, October 30th, 2023. Um, this is just, this happened to be the shirt that I pulled out of the, the clothes bag last night, and I actually thought it was my black biocharger shirt, uh, but this is my white lotus shirt. Um, so, uh, the inspiration for this video is, um, an update around something that was really very random and curious. Yesterday seemed to be um, a, uh, a day of um, communication that um, uh, from from two people that uh, I had started conversations with. Um, like one of them, you know, talking about the biocharger uh, I used to work with, and um, and we would stay in, you know, we've been staying in contact, but we haven't talked in a while, and our conversation just kind of dropped off, um, and, uh, he reconnected with me yesterday, just kind of out of the blue, I had sent him a message, uh, probably back in, like, maybe April or so, maybe May, uh, and, um, and it was via Telegram, and, you know, you can tell if people read your message or not in Telegram, uh, and he, uh, he hadn't even seen my message, and so yesterday he responded back, he was like, oh my god, I hadn't seen this message, and uh, it was just a random reconnection, so we'll probably be talking today, it'll be good to reconnect with him, so it was just one of these, you know, blossoming of a, a, a just a, a day of reconnection, and then, same kind of a thing, there's another guy um, from, and this is interesting now that I'm thinking about it, from the BioWell, right, um, and, uh, I met this guy when I went to, I think it was in New Mexico, I can't remember what it was, but I think it was New Mexico when I went to the training, um, and, uh, for the BioWell, and he and I had been talking here fairly recently as well, again, probably, probably around the same time, I think, maybe May or June, um, and our conversation kind of fell off, right, and so yesterday he reached back out. Um, and so, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of strange, the BioWell and BioCharger, because if you've been following me, um, then you know that I've talked about the BioWell, BioCharger, you kind of know about my history with that, uh, both of those devices, and marrying them together, and developing software for them, um, and none of it's come to fruition, uh, as far as, like, a commercial kind of a product, um, but anyway, like... Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it's interesting that these two individuals from these two different devices uh, on the same day, uh, randomly, seemingly randomly, uh, reconnected with me. Um, the one from the BioWell, uh, we spoke last night, and um, probably for almost an hour, a little over an hour, hour and 15 minutes, and just a crazy... The language that was used uh, during the conversation, the offers that were being made for assistance, um, it's all extremely like serendipitous, like almost like an act of providence. Uh, it's it's. I'm I'm still having a hard time believing that the conversation happened, and I'm keeping it vague. Because it's like one of those things, like, it's not done until it's done kind of a thing, you know? Um, so, I'm going to keep it vague for right now. And just kind of let it start to speak for itself. And then as it starts to speak for itself, I'll, I'll, I'll reference this. I'll reference this back. I'll reference this conversation back. So, on October 29th, I'll, I'll reference that date again. Um... So, we're supposed to talk again today, and, um, yeah, just, I'll put it this way, uh, he, he was just like, he started off, you know, I'll just kind of read, like, how the message went, right, um, right, so he's like, he just sent me a one-liner last night, he's like, Zach man, what's up? I dropped the ball of getting back to you and life swept in. What's going on? Right? And, um, you know, I said, no worries, man. I said, everything works out as it should. That's what I believe. 
I said, good to hear from you. Um, let's see, I heard from someone else that uh, I haven't spoke to in a while today too, you know, which was the other guy I was just referencing. I said, it's a great day for this kind of communication. I said, to answer your, I said, the answer to your question could be quite lengthy as my life has a lot of active facets at the moment. I said, par for the course, I suppose. I said, I feel like that's true for everyone though. You know? I said, the super short version is I'm working part-time as a barista at a coffee shop at a grocery store that I spend most of my days at since I've started, you know, since, I, since about the beginning of August. I said, I'm currently without a house and vehicle. I said, uh, I'm forging my way into being able to teach people how to not pay income tax, you know, and I smiled at after that. Um, I said, that's the super broad stroke of what's going on. Uh, I said, how about you? How things are with you? And he just, you know, appreciated my candidness. And then, so I spoke a little bit more. Uh, he asked me, he's like, you know, um, he asked me what state I was in and I was like, you know, are you asking about my mental state, my physical state, my physical location, you know, like this kind of a thing, because, you know, I've been talking about these things recently, so that word means a multitude of things to me right now. Uh, and so basically my response to him, um, you know, was, uh, uh, he was basically asking, like, how could he help, you know, because I just told him I was out without a house and vehicle. He's like, well, how, can I, how can I help? And I was like, well... You know, the last I wrote him again. I won't read the whole message, but the last part of the, my response to him was, um, "I'm unsure how you may help." I said, um, "I don't close myself off to potentials, as miracles truly do happen." Um, and then he's like, "Can I call you?" And then that's when we started talking, and it's just this, it's this crazy unfolding of things, you know, because with what I told him, what my main focus is next, he's like. I have a solution for that. And I'm like, what, you know? And again, I'm keeping it vague because I'm gonna let it speak for itself. I'm gonna let it unfold. And um, like I said, I'm having a hard time believing that it's true. Not that I don't believe it's true. I believe it's true because I do believe miracles happen. Um, I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. I'm gonna let this unfold. I'm gonna let things materialize and then I'll just reference this conversation back and I'll get more specific as we go along. Um, I just am deeply grateful for both of these individuals contacting me. Um, the relationship with the guy from the bio, uh, bio charger, um, that's four or five years old now, and um, uh, it's a great connection. I've really appreciated uh, his companionship. Uh, and then this guy here from the bio well <clears throat> is a really has always been an interesting and, and beautiful connection as well um, so I'm grateful there's a lot of gratitude that I have and I am just really dumbfounded and awestruck to me this is such an example of miracles and how life has a beautiful way of unfolding and just much like this shirt and what I was talking about yesterday about the symbolism of the white lotus um, it's that it's a prime example of this beautiful blossom being out of something that seems absolutely shit you know uh, and that's the kind of thing um I, I fall in love with that, you know, I, I am in love with that, uh, that type of, um, experience, because that to me is like, it's God manifest, you know, it's like the universe showing up, it's, 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 it's the prime reason I have faith, trust, and surrender, and why I don't care about how things look, I don't care about how things look because appearances are so deceiving, so deceiving. So I'm gonna let it unfold and I'm gonna take you on this journey with me and we're gonna see where it goes. But yeah, I'm really excited about it, really excited about it. Uh, and extremely grateful. And more grateful than excited, you know what I mean? I'm just kinda like, all right, this is, it's incredible. Um, changing gears. So last night was pretty flippin' cold. 
uh, it got down to like 29 degrees, right? So it's below freezing. That's even dangerous to be out for like prolonged periods of time. You know, we're starting to get into that territory where it's dangerous to be outside for prolonged, prolonged periods of time. So uh, I actually got decent sleep. Um, I found that my sleep was not interrupted so much because of the temperature as much as it was just generally getting comfortable. Like my arm fell asleep in a way that I had, hadn't had a fall asleep before uh, in a long time. And uh, by that time, by the time I woke up with that, I'd already been asleep for a while, so I'd already gotten, gotten a decent amount of rest in a way. So I bought those pocket warmers, right? These hot hands, and these are still warm, these hot hands pocket warmers. This is what my son suggested, and I was like, man, absolutely. And these are a lifesaver, a lifesaver. These things are beautiful. Uh, so I was quite comfortable, to tell you the truth. Temperature-wise, like, I was not cold. Um, so I'm just extremely grateful for these things, too. Like, amazing. So in 29-degree weather, um, being outside, I was, I was doing okay, you know, as all things considered. So um, for, like, 10 just over 10 bucks I was able to like get a package of 10 of those and I wanted to try them out see how it went with my current setup and then uh, I may be um, you know hitting up Amazon uh, to, uh, to get more of those in bulk so anyway that that's how last night went so I'm grateful for that um, anyway that's kind of what I got I'm gonna keep this I've already been chatting for a little bit so that's just my update for right now I'm gonna let you guys go and uh, or I'm going to go do other things, I should say, um, or that I will say. All right, I was just thinking if there's anything else, but I'll keep you guys updated. All right, thanks for journeying with me and being with me and uh, yeah, being part of the process. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.